guys, today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to remove the grill inserts on one of these third gen Rams from 2002 up to 2005. So behind me, I have a Dodge Ram SRT10 with the Viper engine. We're gonna be switching out the grill inserts from these slat styles to honeycomb, but I'm gonna show you how to remove them without breaking anything because there's these little clips and they're very expensive if you end up breaking them or destroying them in the process. I'll show you how to get them out, how to get it done, let's get into it. Well, first things obviously to open the hood and these are the chrome ones that we're gonna be getting rid of, which I'll show you in another video, but in this specific video, I'm gonna show you how to remove them. So you'll see these series of push pins here, and what happens, I've already removed one here. I'll show you, there, it's almost like a rivet, or push pin, the center of it, you have to knock out the back, press it out the back, and then it will release the actual clip. So I'll demonstrate that right now, let's get some light on it. So these are the pins, you guys, that you're gonna be taking out there. I think they're made out of plastic, honestly, but that's the center, you're gonna drive this center portion right out the back. So you're gonna wanna make sure you don't lose the center portion here. It's just this tiny little piece of plastic, if I can wiggle it out. So this little stick of plastic that you can probably barely see, that's what we're driving out the back of the pin. So make sure you don't lose these, cause these things I've heard are something ridiculous from the dealership, like several dollars each one, and there's a bunch of them. So uh, we're gonna drive that pin out the back so that it's not expanded and then we can pull it out the front. Okay guys, so to remove the grills on this, you could try to do it this way by laying a you know towel so that the pins don't fall in. But the problem is up here at the top, there is one that is pretty much blocked. So instead we're gonna remove the grill from the vehicle, all these eight mil screws. So we'll remove them around the perimeter, the grill will come off and then we can work on it um, and access this one on both sides. <laughs> okay, so the grill is off like you see and we'll go ahead and lay it down on something that's not going to scratch the surface and then we can knock all these out and at the same time our little pins aren't going to go anywhere except for down and into the grill. You don't have to worry about losing them into the engine bay or something. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we got it face down on something that's not going to scratch it. You're going to see that center pin and you're going to hit it. And the pin's going to come out the back and then you can remove the actual pin. So just like that, we're gonna go around and do them all and make sure you don't lose that centerpiece cause that's what's gonna make it so that you can put it back together. These are the expensive ones. Let's get it done. All right guys, so once you remove all the center pins out, just keep track of them. But now we can go ahead and lift this out. So we'll work this up like you can see here. And there is our grill insert. So we can go ahead and get all of our center pins that were launched into the middle that you couldn't have access to, gather up all our parts, and the grill insert is removed. All right, so you wanna go ahead and reinsert all of your little push pins so that they're ready to go. Find all your pieces that are all over the place and just gather everything, because like I said, everything's gonna be everywhere. And then get everything ready for the new inserts. All right guys, so we have our grill inserts removed and now you can either decide whether you're gonna paint these, plastic dip these, or replace them with a different style. So we're actually gonna be putting honeycomb ones in, so make sure you subscribe, click the like button, and we'll show you guys the other ones that we're gonna be putting in, but that's it. It's just the reverse process. You'll put this in, put your push pins back in that hopefully you didn't lose. Put all your bolts back in, the eight mils that hold it to the actual truck, and you're done. Also, if you guys are interested in more third gen Ram stuff, we're gonna be doing a lot more to this truck. So we already put wheels on it. We're gonna be lowering the truck, putting exhaust on the truck, different headlights, converting the whole truck to LED, a lot more, so make sure you stick around. Also check the merch down below, support your boy, or hit that join button. All the help is appreciated. It goes into more parts that go in back to the truck. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.